Hello there folks, once again these are the hands of me Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and yes here we go, we have got a GoPro HD Hero 2 to unbox. Now I've wanted one of these for an awful long time, well as long as they've been around basically, um, and finally I just thought let's just do it. So expect an awful lot of videos. Um, Hopefully much better videos of the mountain board, power kite, biking, and I'm hoping to get back into rollerblading. Oh, anyway, we're not here for talking about random stuff. We're here to have a look what's in the box. Um, as I show you the general gist of what the box is like, I fit it in about there. Um, I'll say I know that there is the HD Hero 3 out now. But for the same price, I could either have the old HD Hero 2 that I've got here, or the basic white version of the HD Hero 3, which to me, um, I don't know, I just didn't think that there was any great need to have the uh, white version of the HD Hero 3 when this, for example, comes with far more mounts, like the head mount, the um, sort of bike helmet style mount, and a few other bits and pieces. And the camera themselves don't on the basic HD Hero 3 doesn't seem to be that really sort of yes I've got to have this over a HD Hero 2 let's get inside whoops that didn't go to plan <laughs> Learn more at GoPro.com. GoPro, be a hero. I already am. Um, so it's all looking very sort of modern day, minimal Apple inspired packaging. Very nice. Wow. I've got to say, I think this looks a lot better than in person than it does on just videos and on the internet. Ah, I've got you. HD Hero 2, warranty info, user manual. Um, my goodness me, there's certainly a, a lot of layers of um, cardboard to get through here. Wow, right, now we're getting to it. Right, so you've got your USB cable and charging cable, a battery and another back, I'm not sure if it's um, the back for the case for attaching other accessories, some GoPro stickers, I've got a feeling that my mountain board is going to start getting covered in these bits and pieces, because it makes me look professional. <laughs> and are we pulling that? Yeah. Next layer, oh, out we come, so that's the box empty, if we just stick this to the side, right, what have we got, wow, so that is the head mount, so obviously I'll show you a proper video of these in action um, after I've got to grips with it all, so that is your head strap mount. And here we've got an incredible bundle of different adhesive mounts. So we've got a couple of curved ones, some uh, flat ones, and well, like I say, I'll have a proper look over time and get back to you. I've got to say, I'm starting to I'm starting to like the look of these an awful lot. And then finally, this is one of the things that I was very interested in having, the uh, invented helmet mount, which is basically, I can say, a bike style helmet uh, mount. So obviously I do an awful lot of biking, so that's going to become a very um, permanent fixture on top of my helmet, I think. Right, so as you can see, there's an awful lot of bits and pieces packed away in this little box. Uh, like I say, so... Manuals, mounts, head mount, bike mount, batteries, um, USB cable, and of course, not forgetting, the camera itself. Now I've figured it out, we will have one final look at the camera, so that we can see what we're actually um, here, I suppose, as the main part. 
And well, there you have it. It's a lot smaller than I expected. I'm sure that when I saw them in the shop on display, they seem to be bigger somehow when they're amidst all the other cameras and bits and pieces, but oh, it's got to be said, this has got fun and adventure and good times written all over it. So check out sortofinteresting.com, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you around soon. Farewell.